Hello, today we are going to set up a White Fox mechanical keyboard on a Windows machine to get it ready to program custom layouts. We're going to start with the manual. You can find your manual at whitefox.link slash manual on a card in your White Fox packaging. Since we're doing Windows, we'll navigate there first. Um, to begin, we're going to need to use Zadig, the magical USB driver utility. Once we have Zadig, we're going to follow the instructions, which say select options and click list all devices, then from the drop-down, select API Interface 5 and change it to LibUSBK. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Go to API Interface 5 and go down to and replace the driver. Okay, so we've done the first part. We're also going to install it on the White Fox itself. So we're gonna need to put the White Fox in flash mode to do this. So make sure it's plugged in and if you haven't done so already, watch the video on how to put your white fox in flash mode, which basically you take a paper clip and poke the hole on the back of your white fox. I just did so. Okay. Now we see the white fox right here, and it's got libusk. Um, because I flashed this before. Uh, this could say something else, but we're going to reinstall the driver. Okay. Uh, now we're done with Zadig. And what we're going to do is continue following the manual, which tells us to go and download DFU Util. Uh, this is a direct link to um, where it is, so find uh, the best fit for your operating system, we're going to do the Windows 64-bit one because I use a 64-bit machine. Okay. Um, once we've downloaded it, we're going to extract it somewhere that we know where it is. So I'm going to actually take this folder and put it on the desktop for now. Um, the reason that we need to do this is when we go back to the input club manual, um, we're going to need to tell the configurator where DFU util is. So let's do that now. Okay, um, I'm going to download the Windows version. And You'll notice because I have a white fox plugged in, uh, I can I have white fox written right here. If you don't have it plugged in, or if you have it maybe in some other mode, um, it may be a question mark. But for us, it's the white fox. I'm going to click on it, and the white fox originally came in six different layouts. Uh, the most common one is the true fox, and that's the one that was on Kickstarter and that most people will have. Okay. So here what we're going to do is we're going to do a really simple change. We're going to set Q to be W and W to be Q. Um, what you do at that point is you hit this lightning bolt up here and click download firmware. Okay, and then press flash. Okay, here is where that DFU util thing is coming into play. We need to tell the configurator where DFU util is. I put it on the desktop and we navigate to the application called DFU util and we just hit open and this is the location of our DFU util command. The .bin file is already preloaded and the white fox is already in flash mode from where we left it earlier in this process. If you're doing this and you haven't put the white fox in flash mode, just flip it over and push a pin on that hole in the back and you'll put it in flash mode. We'll then click flash. And this green bar popped up, which means we are successful. And it gives us a little success message. Uh, let's test 
if this actually worked. We'll open up Notepad, and I'm going to press the Q key. It's a W. Press the W, it's a Q. The rest of them are all exactly how they were supposed to be, which means we've successfully programmed a white fox from scratch. This video is very similar to some of our other videos, like for the K-type. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this and that this has guided you through the exact process on how to get your white fox set up. If you have any questions, please email us at support at kono.store or join our Discord and send us a message there. There's a huge community full of people that um, know a lot about these keyboards and either a member of our team or someone from the community should be able to help you. There will be a link at the bottom of this video. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.